All right, my friends, are you ready for some updates on Adobe Illustrator 2025? Exciting. And there's a bunch of AI updates. So yeah, we all have different opinions on AI, but there's some really cool tools in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop and InDesign for that matter that include AI powered tools. So let's get to it. So just make sure that you have Adobe Illustrator 2025 installed in your laptop or computer and you'll be greeted with the welcome page and your name, super cool and personal. Now, the first thing you see is a new AI tool and it's called the Generative Fill, the Generative Shape Fill Beta. And whenever you see beta, that means that it's still in development. It's not completely done. Otherwise, would it be called alpha? Who knows? But beta means it's still being developed. It's not completely finished. So it's a work in progress. So we'll be trying it in a little bit, which is super exciting. I'm super excited about this. Anything that makes my work faster and better, I'm all for it. So what it will do is you'll have, let's say, an illustration or an outline of something, and then you can easily fill it with whatever you want, with leaves, flowers, in one second, in one click, using AI generative fill. So that's cool. Now let's have a little, little brief overview at more Adobe Illustrator updates before we move on to actually demoing and practicing this one. Let's go to the little gift or present icon to see a list of what's new. So first you'll have objects on a path, which is really cool. It's a tool that allows you to easily change and rearrange objects on a path. I'm thinking necklace, bracelet, chain or whatnot. And you can see you can change the spacing, the positioning, so that's super cool. You can distribute them evenly. So you'll just have a few shapes and a path and you can just pop it easily in the path. All right, the next one is enhanced image trace. So I actually teach a whole lesson on image trace in my Adobe Illustrator beginners class, but now it's enhanced and improved. And I guess Adobe keeps on improving it, which is awesome. So one of the annoying perhaps things about image trace is when it traces it and creates a lot of tiny little shapes and sub shapes. And that could be annoying because it's a lot more work. Now the improved one apparently has fewer shapes and it can detect a gradient and create one individual shape with a gradient inside, which is much more smooth and better, and it just has better results. So that's awesome. So be sure to try out the image trace. It was already great to begin with, and now it's even better. All right, the next one is Project Neo Beta. Such a cool name, kind of matrix vibes. But um, what it allows you to do is bring your 2D artwork and allow Adobe Illustrator to build 3D artwork. So 2D to 3D. And that will create three-dimensional designs and graphics and illustrations. But again, this is only in beta. And this one is sadly only available right now in a beta app. So just so you know, there's also an Adobe Illustrator beta app. And it looks like this, white and blue which is like an app, it's like Adobe Illustrator, but just for the apps and the tools that aren't yet completely built in Adobe Illustrator, they're in development stages and it's called beta. So feel free to try that out. Right, the next one is mock-up. So you can place artwork and labels and branding on real life objects, just like you can see here. And apparently it's all in paper, so it's really good for the environment. Stay green. So that's really cool. Now it will auto adjust. The branding labels will auto adjust, adjust to the contours of the image. So imagine it's like flat and you pop it over an object, then it will automatically align 
and go in the angle of that shape. So in Adobe Photoshop, there's also a tool like that. And I teach that whole lesson on how to create that. There's a very similar tool there. All right, now the next one I'm super excited about. Text to pattern. And yes, it is AI. You simply write what you want your pattern to include, and it will automatically create a seamless pattern of whatever you wrote, which is awesome and beautiful probably, and could save us a lot of time. I spend hours creating seamless patterns, so I'm excited. We're gonna try this in a little bit. We're gonna try the two beta and AI tools in a bit. Then we have the contextual taskbar. So if you're not already familiar with this, this is a new taskbar that Adobe added in a lot of its softwares like Adobe Photoshop or InDesign and Illustrator as well. And I love it. It will simply pop up somewhere on your screen and it will give you a few logical tools to play with or a few logical options. So for instance, if you have a star selected, it will give you star information, like how many sides will your star have? Or will it have star inset, which is how much the sides go inwards to create that star? So I like the contextual tab in all Adobe softwares. I find it useful and it's quicker and it's basically a bunch of useful tools under one umbrella. All right, and then last but not least, animate your AI designs in Adobe Express. And by AI this time, I think it means Adobe Illustrator since the I is small. So I actually created a whole class on this. I discovered Adobe Express and I was so excited and in awe with it that I went riot and created a whole class on animation in Adobe Express. And the best part of all is that it's free if you have Adobe Creative Cloud. It's just an additional app inside your license and it's super easy to use. I just love animating everything. And before I used Adobe Express, I actually didn't know how to animate whatsoever. So this really helped. I did know a little bit of After Effects, but it, it was just a little bit of a headache. So this is great. It's just an easy way to move text and images and you can add icons and music. So check out my Adobe Express animation class on Skillshare. So let's close this for now and let's have a little try of this generative shape fill beta. So I'm going to demo and hopefully you can play along and follow along. So let's click on try it now. And an Adobe Illustrator will automatically give us a tutorial of this Adobe teacher. All right, so we can follow along and there will be three steps, one of three. So generative shape fill beta. Fill the outlines of your shape with vector graphics powered by generative AI. So we have this illustration, this outline selected with the selection tool. If you don't, make sure you do that. And then you click on next. And this is where you can type exactly what you want. So this is filled with leaves, fill this with summer leaves. That's the original. We could do fill this with flowers. And let's see what will come up. Click on generate. Now you may have to sign an agreement for using AI. So just click on sign, make sure you read the I've already done it, which is why it went straight to generating. And you will see in the properties panel, a few different prompts already. Whoa. You can see different variations. You've got one, two, and three. And wow, that looks so cool. Although AI, right? It literally typed fill the, but doesn't matter. Now, if you want to have a better look how it looks like without the highlights, highlighted lines, you can just click away and there it is. And if you want, you can zoom in, Command or Control Plus, and that's when you can see from close up that, yeah, it is AI, but like I said, it's beta and it's only gonna get better. 
Now, what happened? My variations disappeared. No worries, just make sure you're in the selection tool. You select it again, and there are your variations. Click away and yeah. Zoom out, Commander Control minus, and that looks good when it's zoom out. So perhaps don't zoom in. <laughs> So yeah, play with this. Feel free to try different variations. Feel free to try this with your own artwork. Have a little drawing and then fill it. So you can save it if you want it to file save as, or just close it in the little X. And let's move on to the other AI beta tool that we're gonna look at. And I'm super excited. So click on the little gift or present box again and we're going to try text to pattern beta. Super excited. So click on try it now. And Adobe Illustrator again will give us a teacher and a tutorial and feel free to listen to that. But for now, for us, we're just going to follow the three steps of text to pattern beta. So make sure you're on the selection tool and you have the selected, which you should automatically do have. And let's click on next. So generate seamless custom patterns from a text prompt. Apply graphics in a few clicks and save to swatch library. Begin with fill or stroke. So this is the fill and this is the stroke. So click on next. So this is where we type the prompt and we type what we want to appear in our pattern. So I would like a bunch of things. I'll start with cherries leaves and flowers. Why not? Feel free to type whatever you want. It doesn't have to be cherries, leaves and flowers. And then click on generate. And I like to push this away so I can have a better look. So if you need to click on accept for AI documents and forms, go ahead and look at those. And just like that here, you'll see a bunch of variations being created. Wow. That is stunning. Click on the second one. That is amazing. And the third one. And this one is my favorite, I believe, because I love the different variations of the red. You can zoom in a bit, Command or Control Plus, so you can see a bit better. And wow, this is so pretty. Isn't it so, so nice. I love the background. I love the leaves. I love that the cherries are a bit shiny. So stunning. But uh oh, these disappeared again. So what you can do is simply make sure you're on the selection tool. Just go to fill and this will come up again. The three options. Beautiful. But this one is my favorite. And if you want it, you can click on this and add to swatches, right? This is stunning, but I would like us to have a little play and perhaps add the pattern to the O, let's say. So go to the selection tool and click here. Because this is grouped, we're going to have to click again and a couple of times until just the O is selected. And that's, by the way, how you select, select a sub layer in a group. Cool, but now my patterns have disappeared. No worries, I can either click on fill or on swatches where all my colors are saved to swatches and I can click on one of the generated, generated patterns. And you know, this one is my favorite, so I'll pick this one. So this is super cute, but I think in this case, the pattern, the scale is wrong. It's too big. So I'm going to teach you now how to scale the pattern size of that pattern. And it's not as hard as you think. You need to go to object, transform and scale, click. And I would like us to untick transform objects. That's the object and only have transform patterns ticked. So only the pattern inside. And I'm going to teach you a shortcut, a little trick to increase something. So click inside this box and select uniform, which means it's going to be scaled proportionally. 
And I would like you to press the upward arrow on your keyboard and you will see that it will get increased. And you will see the cherry and the flower becoming bigger. And then press the downward arrow on your keyboard to decrease the number and the pattern. So you can see the pattern is getting smaller. So by the way, this little shortcut with the arrows is in a lot of Adobe softwares. So hopefully you'll use it. And if you forget, you can always do my classes or my courses where I bang on about it and I repeat it a lot. So isn't this cool? We created a pattern and then we changed the scale of it to add it to our little O. So click on OK, click away. And there is our gorgeous pattern with our gorgeous pattern inside a letter. So feel free to click on X, don't save or save if you love it. That's also fine. Save it to your desktop, call it cherry flower or something pattern. Click on save and OK. And voila, those were it for the two demos of generative AI in Adobe Illustrator generative shape fill and generative text to pattern. So if you want to learn more Adobe Illustrator tools and tips and how to draw, how to create logos, illustrations, how to create flyers and posters and typography and so much more, then check out my Adobe Illustrator beginners and intermediate classes. I'm Kate Silver and as always, it's been a pleasure teaching you. Mm -hmm.